first subject we're going to talk about is springs. Springs are a false breakout of support, which leads to price actions springing off the support area. Let's take a look at this illustration. The assumption is that we are in a recent uptrend. So currently we are retracing on that recent uptrend into a support area. The price falsely breaks down below the support area and springs off the support area for a continuation move up. One of the things that may help you uh, recognize the concept of a spring is what one looks like when it actually fails and the meaning behind it. With that same scenario, we have a retrace in the uptrend and it also springs off the support. But in this case, we get brief or no continuation of the uptrend. When that happens, combined with the fact that it starts trading down in the area where the spring tested establishes a new potential value area, that is a failed spring. Let's take a look at a spring on the price action analyzer. The price action analyzer has three settings for springs. Spring, that has been filtered through logic here at NeoHarmonics. The second setting is an unfiltered spring, and the third is a spring with volume. The first spring we have here is a failed spring. We see the area support established. The spring goes into a new area, falsely breaks down, and then springs off of support, but only for a little bit. What happens in that case it starts trading down and accepting this as the new value area, as indicated by two red candles here back to back. Then we have another spring which clears the support of that area and springs off of it, but this time it actually has a continuation upwards. After it continues, we have another area support right here being established, and the spring springs up from that. Springs are only to be used in uptrends. The next item that we're going to cover, which has, which is the opposite of a spring, which is an upthrust. An upthrust is basically a inverse of a spring. So in this particular case, we're going to assume that we are in a downtrend. As price comes up to resistance, established resistance area, we have a false breakout of that resistance area, which is marked by the uh, tail right here, which leads to the price action being upthrusted past that area of resistance, and but then it comes back and holds the area of resistance resistance with a continuation of the trend down. Up thrusts are only to be traded in downtrending markets. Let's take a look at a failed up thrust. Uh, the up thrust in this particular case comes up to resistance and it breaks it and we have a false breakout of that area and then it briefly goes down. But instead of continuing down, it starts trading back into that area and then we have an acceptance of that as the value area showing a failed up thrust. Let's take a look at the up thrust on the price action analyzer. The first up thrust we have is a failed up thrust as uh, it up thrust into the new area. It breaks down below, it goes down for a little bit for a brief period of time and actually goes and trades into this and actually overtakes that and goes a little bit higher. We also have resistance coming in as this is pulling back on the uptrend. It's breaking into new area, up thrusting into that new area and then uh, holding that resistance level and then continuing down. The up thrust, just like the spring on the price action analyzer has three settings. Up thrust with the neo harmonic logic in it. The up thrust that is unfiltered and the up thrust with volume.